we're going to introduce the concept of sequences to you. Um, and to do that, we're going to talk specifically about an arithmetic sequence. But um, before we do that, we just want to make sure we understand what it is we're trying to do. So there's two types of sequences that you need to know about in this chapter, arithmetic sequences and geometric sequences. So we're going to talk about arithmetic sequences first, and then we'll talk about geometric sequences in another video which you'll see later. So any sequence in which terms are different by the same amount being added, that's the key, all right? It's it's about adding and subtract or subtracting, I guess, but added is what we mean. We just say the common difference is negative. So it's about being added to the previous term. So the amount that's being added to that term is called the common difference. And then the amount, like I said, can be positive or negative. So it actually looks like subtraction, but you're just adding a negative. That's the idea. So in this case, you have 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. This is a common difference of 2. Okay. If you have 5, 1, minus 3, minus 7, you can notice it's going down by 4. So you're adding minus 4. So the common difference is minus 4. Okay. So that's the idea behind an arithmetic sequence. And, and really a sequence just broadly is, is just a series of numbers. It's just a bunch of numbers in a row. Okay. A geometric sequence, the difference between an arithmetic sequence and a geometric sequence is that a geometric sequence goes up by a common ratio. So what that means is you're adding um, a number, but you're multiplying. Okay, so you're, you're go getting to the next number, but you're getting to it instead of just adding and subtracting like you are with arithmetic sequences, you're still adding another number to the sequence, but you're doing it by multiplying by the common ratio. That's the difference. All right, so you'll notice we said adding with arithmetic sequences. So here, the key word is multiplying, when you're multiplying in a geometric sequence, okay? So you notice here we're multiplying by two. We're going three to six times two, and then six times two is 12, and then 12 times two is 24. And here we're dividing by two. So we're actually multiplying by one half, okay? So we're always adding or multiplying, that's the idea. We wanna look specifically at arithmetic sequences, all right? Arithmetic sequences can be written using a formula where you're essentially starting with a first term, we call that first term A, all right? And then you're adding the common difference, N minus one times to get to the nth term, okay? Nth term being like the fifth term would be, you're adding the common difference four times, five minus one. If it's a 10th term, you're adding it nine times and so on, okay? So the key terms that you need to know, the key things that you need to be able to find is you need to know A and you need to know D. Those are the two things that we're going to find every time we identify a, a arithmetic sequence. So if you look at this, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, um, the, the first term is 2. And you can notice that to get to the next term, we're adding 2 each time, all right? Plus 2, plus 2, plus 2. So the common difference is also 2. So what we then do is we can plug in A and D into this. So A is two and D is two. So we get two plus two N minus two, and that gives me two N. So what this does is allow us to find any term we want, all right? So then if I said, what's the 10th term, for example, we would say that's two times 10, the 10th term is 20, okay? So that's the idea behind an arithmetic sequence or finding something that describes an arithmetic sequence, right? So if we look at this one, same idea. We wanna find a formula that describes sequence. So we wanna find A and we wanna find D, all right? So A is one because it's the first term, that's easy. And the common difference is two because we're adding two to get to the next term, all right? Plus two, plus two, plus two, it, it follows all the way along, all right? So the common difference is two. So that means we can say TN then, is a which is one plus d which is two times n minus one all right let me just write that a little nicer so if we do that expansion we get two n minus two and then that means we end up with two n minus one as our tn all right so that's our answer to the first part the second part says find t50 so we just say well t50 is 2 times 50 minus 1. So that's going to be 100 minus 1, and that's 99. So the 50th term 
is 99, all right? And then finally, it says, what is what term number is 23? So what this is asking you is actually to solve for n. So we say tn is 23, what's n, all right? So we're going to go like this. 23 is equal to our 2n minus 1. So then we're going to get 24 is 2n. And then if we divide by 2, n becomes 12. So 23 is the 12th term in that sequence, all right? So those are really the things you're going to be asked to do. You're going to be asked to find the general TN, the formula for it. You're going to be asked to find certain terms, or you may be asked to find what term number is a certain value. Okay. Now, the difference between this question and the last one is we're not actually given the whole sequence, but we're still looking for the same thing. We're still looking for A, and we're still looking for D. But here we're just given two terms. We're told that the fifth term is 10 and the 11th term is 28. Okay, so what we do is we say the common difference is 28 minus 10, okay, divided by the difference in the term numbers. So 11 minus 5, okay. In other words, we take the difference of the terms on the top. So this is t11 minus t5 and then over 11 minus 5. Because if you start at the fifth term, you add six common differences to get the 11th term. That's what's going on. So we end up with 18 divided by 6, and that's 3. Okay. So once we know the common difference, then we can say, therefore, t5 is a plus 5 minus 1 times our common difference, which is 3. So t5 is also 10. We know that from here. So we say is therefore 10 is a plus 4 times 3. Okay, 5 minus 1 is 4. So that we can, we can then get a plus 12, so that a is then minus 2. So we got a and we got d. d is 3. So therefore, we want to find the formula. So we're going to do that now. We're going to say tn then is a plus n minus 1 times d. So we get minus 2 plus 3n minus 3, and that's 3n minus 5, so that's tn. Okay, so there we, we've got our formula. And then the question says find t of 2, 3, 0, 4. Okay, so then we say, therefore, t of 2, 3, 0, 4, or 2,304, is 3 times 2,304, minus 5. So that's 6,912 minus 5, and that gives me 6,907. Okay, so that's my term. Okay, so you can actually work on some of those sequences. We'll talk about geometric sequences uh, after, but the other thing, if you just jump back, um, I'm assuming you're going to be given those exercises by your teacher but if you look at this the next thing it wants to know and the last thing you really have to do is figure out how many terms are there in a geometric or an arithmetic sequence i mean so it says how many terms are there in three five seven nine one twenty nine so what you do first is you notice that a is three and d the common difference is two okay because you're adding two right plus two plus two so you're going to get tn to be 3 plus n minus 1 times 2, or 2 times n minus 1. So you're going to end up with 3 plus 2n minus 2. And that gives me 2n plus 1. Tn is 2n plus 1. Okay. Now that doesn't answer the question, but that's the first part. The first part says find that. Then we put that last term in here and solve for n. So we say, well, then 129 is going to equal 2n plus 1. So that means 128 is 2n, and that means that n is 64, okay? So that's how many terms there are in the sequence, all right? And then here's another example, same idea as the last one, or not the last one, the one before that. We want a, we want the common difference, and we want to find the general term, and then a, T was 100. So again, to find the common difference, we take the difference in the terms. So T5 minus T3 divided by the difference in the term numbers, 5 minus 3. So we're going to take 15 minus 9 over 5 minus 3. And that's going to give us 6 over 2, which gives me a common difference of 3. 
And then I say, therefore, T3 is A plus 3 times N minus 1. N is also 3, okay? So T3 is 9, so we get A plus 3 times 2, which means 9 is A plus 6, which means that A is 3. All right, so if A is 3 and D is 3, then I can say, therefore, Tn is 3 plus 3 times N minus 1. And that gives me 3 plus 3N minus 3, which gives me 3N. So Tn is 3N. That answers that question. And then finally, I'm asked to find T of 100. So T of 100 is just 3 times 100, and that's going to be 300. And that's the last part of the question. So that is all of that question. And that is really all you're going to be asked to do in terms of arithmetic sequences. So the next video will discuss geometric sequences. But we'll leave it at that for this one. And again, you can have some exercises if your teacher gives them to you, or you may be able to find some practice and those sort of things online.